Today we're going to discuss Deloitte's AI Factory as a Service powered by NVIDIA and secured by Palo Alto Networks. With this offering, we can centralize and improve security and data protection, scale GPU capacity in weeks, not months, achieve an overall lower total cost of ownership, accelerate AI with a pre-built technology stack, and increase overall workload throughput. We're going to show you a reference architecture that demonstrates how Palo Alto's AI Runtime Security, or AI Firewall, functions within the AI Factory as a Service architecture. We're also going to review two different demos that are going to showcase some of the capabilities that the AI Firewall can do, namely preventing things like lateral movement and prompt injection for large language models, early indication to mitigate malicious attacks, and to end data protection and secure user access, extended monitoring for enhanced identification visibility and verification of AI users and systems, and ease of managing secure AI pipelines to improve overall security posture. On this image of the high-level solution architecture, you can visualize how the Palo Alto Network's runtime security firewall fits within the overall architecture. Sitting at the front end, you can visualize the input and output guardrails that can be enforced to prevent potential incidents like prompt injection of your LLMs, weight limit queries to your LLMs, prevention of adversarial attacks, and even off-topic information that might be irrelevant to the LLM. Also, we can see output guardrails to prevent things like toxicity, AI hallucinations, bias, and validation of what's being stored into a large language model. Next, we're going to showcase a couple demos to show how the AI Runtime Security Firewall enforces security elements against different LLMs and some additional functional highlights. This is the AI Runtime Security Command Center, and this will have a view of all the different applications that are currently flowing to the AI Security Firewall. Things like data sets, number of users, additional plugins, models, and internet-based traffic is all going to populate within this screen. From here, we're able to double-click and see additional recommendations across operational and security viewpoints. Here we can see the number of total assets bound to this firewall, overall credits, and overall number of firewalls that are currently in the manager. Once we go and drill down into our AI models, we're able to see the number of unprotected apps on our environment and its associated large learning models we can see on the right-hand side and overall protections that are deployed within the AI runtime security firewalls in your environment. Adding additional protections across a multi-CSP enabled environment is fairly easy. Clicking on the plus circle in the middle gets us to a prompt to be able to add security guardrails based off of cloud service provider. Once we click on the add protection button, we are now given the option to choose from Amazon's AWS, Google's GCP, or Microsoft's Azure, and rapidly apply those security guardrails depending on where your application is hosted. Clicking on Next gets us to the actual security profile where we can have target LLMs, as you can see in the top right-hand side, and specific access control functionality. In this case, we're protecting the model, preventing things like prompt injection. And some of these scenarios are going to be illustrated when Anthony does a quick demo of the AI Runtime Security Firewall in action. We can also apply things like DLP policies for additional granular control on your network. As you can see, runtime security has been added on 11 of the applications that were previously unprotected. Additional threats now are populating on the network. What threats are possibly being seen? Recommended actions and pathways to remediation and the overall number of block threats on the network. Additional dashboards can be created from here to get a more granular and fine tooth illustration of your overall AI runtime security environment. Thank you, Michael, for that. What we're actually showing here is a typical topology of an enterprise AI application. And as we continue through, this is what it would look like at the point we overlay AI specific threats 
on this diagram. These threats open up the threat landscape and will essentially increase the attack surface in ways easier for adversaries to exploit. We can start to understand the types of things that we need to think about in the context of today's demo. We'll be focusing on the work that Deloitte is doing with NVIDIA and Palo Alto Network's AI runtime security to help protect applications from insecure model outputs that contain malicious URLs that could lead to lateral movement. So here we see an example of this on the left hand side. We have an IT chat. I asked the chat, how do I upgrade to the latest version of the software? The chat responds with a genuine answer, but because the model that underpins the experience was compromised or the training data set, which powers the fine tuned model was poisoned, it returns a malicious URL instead of a genuine one. If a user were to click on that URL, this would be the point of compromise. This is an example of a malicious URL being embedded in an AI model response. And this is something that we can detect and block via AI runtime security. Let's dig deeper, starting with an example of a malicious URL being sent to an end user. The flow begins when the user is asking the chatbot a question. The chatbot then calls the large language model to determine how to answer the prompt. And then we show that the large language model determines that an external source should be pulled as part of the answer generation flow. And then the adversary inserts a prompt into that external source, which directs the large language model to send a harmful URL to the user here we see both prompt injection attacks and malicious URLs being combined into one attack. And from there, we see the large language model receives a new instruction that generates an output that's a harmful URL, which is ultimately sent back to the user. If the user were to click on that again, it would be a point of compromise. Another great example is malicious URLs being used to cause data leakage of sensitive data. Here again, the user begins to sending a prompt to the chat. This causes a large language model to determine how to answer that prompt. The large language model determines that an external source should be pulled as part of the answer generation flow. The adversary inserts a prompt into external source, redirecting large language model to fetch a harmful URL. The large language model then receives new instruction and determines to fetch a link that was chosen by the attacker. And the app agent fetches the link, allowing the attacker to receive the sensitive data on the user portfolio or the specific user information via the browser agent. The chat then responds back to the user with a seemingly innocuous answer. How do we protect against this, you say? We do this by detecting URLs in payload of model requests, i.e. prompt responses, and then also running your categorization on URL detection in the payload so that we can enforce detections and actions, allow alerts, or block by category. We currently do this for 74 different categories out of the box, things like malware, grayware, or C2, newly registered, extremist content, gambling, so that for each of those, I as a user can create a policy that allows alerts, blocks, any of those different content categories. This will help enact if a URL is seen in either a prompt or a model response as traversing between my apps or models, I can create policy around that and stop block alert on those different areas. Now it's time to see a demo of this in action. We see two instances of the same. The chatbot on the left is protected by an instance of AI runtime security. And the chatbot on the right is not. In the case we have here, we've submitted the same prompt to both chatbots. And now we are awaiting the response. We can see that the chat bot on the right has returned a model response, which contains, as we see is coming, it contains a malicious URL right there. And the chat bot on the left side, as you see, it's already blocked. Reset receive, blocked by the firewall creating that added protection, showcasing the model response contained from the malicious URL via AI runtime. 
This concludes the demo of the AI runtime security. In conclusion, you can see that our AI factory as a service, as secured by Palo Alto Networks, offers enhanced integrated security through end-to-end -end data protection, secure user access, and near real-time monitoring. Today, we'll discuss a critical aspect of cybersecurity that has a direct impact on business operations. This is the detection of lateral movement in near real time. Please note that the data presented in this demo is fictitious and created for demonstration purposes only. Let's begin with an overview of our lateral movement detection dashboard powered by NVIDIA Morpheus, NVIDIA NIMS, and NEMO framework. This dashboard uses large language models, or LLMs, to identify and help mitigate lateral movement threats, enabling the security and integrity of digital assets in near real time. Specific metrics, such as the number of users with threshold events and total remote logon events, are prominently displayed. These metrics help us quickly identify patterns and anomalies that may indicate a security breach. Here we see a breakdown of events by source users and authentication types. These visualizations help Deloitte to quickly identify patterns and anomalies. For instance, if a particular user or IP address shows unusual activity, it becomes a priority for investigation. This is where NVIDIA Morpheus comes into play. Leveraging NVIDIA's GPUs and AI models, Morpheus provides near real-time threat detection and response capabilities, enabling timely detection of threats. Now let's discuss how Deloitte can summarize these alerts into an actionable report. Individual alerts alone often lack the context needed to identify patterns or provide a broad understanding of potential threats. To address this, we enrich our alerts by integrating external threat intelligence data. This additional context is crucial for understanding the significance of each alert. This is where NVIDIA LLMs and the NEMO framework come into play. These advanced tools analyze multiple logs together helping us identify patterns, pinpoint critical assets, flag suspicious users, and ultimately guide our investigations effectively. Let's move on to a mock real-world example. By clicking on the short summary, we can access a detailed report that provides a deeper dive into the incident. This detailed report includes in-depth analysis on the following five categories. Suspicious login activity, unauthorized access to sensitive files, anomalous network traffic, suspicious process execution, and correlated incident timeline. This summary is designed to be concise and actionable, providing specific insights without overwhelming the Security Operations Center, a threat hunter team, or incident response teams with technical details. Each of these points is crucial for understanding the potential impact of the incident. This reporting system, powered by NVIDIA Morpheus and NIMS, offers several benefits. Those are enhanced efficiency, improved accuracy, actionable insights, and near real-time visibility. In conclusion, our lateral movement detection system powered by NVIDIA LLM framework is a vital component of our cybersecurity strategy, providing clear, actionable insights into potential threats. It can help businesses protect themselves against sophisticated cyber attacks and facilitate the security of digital assets in near real-time.